I was reading in Revelation this morning about the Laodicean church, and it said, you know, you're lukewarm. You're neither hot nor cold. They were, they were average. You know, they were, but they were satisfied with being average because they thought they were, they thought they were successful. They said, we're rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. We got it made in the shade, man. We don't need to improve anything anywhere. And yet, what they saw and what God saw were two different things. He said, you're wretched and miserable, naked, blind. And somebody called them the naked, naive nerds who never knew. That might be true. But I was thinking about the curse of being average and being, you know, settling to be average. Do you know that average is as close to the bottom as it is to the top? And yet we're content to be average. If you think about it, think about for a minute. Think about the people that you admire. The people that you admire in life stand out. They're, they've achieved something. They've accomplished stuff. I think I'm going to drive through Highland Lakes here, just do a little social climbing, just driving through the neighborhood. Here we go, Highland, yep, Highland Lakes. Think about the people that you admire. They are they have they have given themselves to a cause. Basketball player, baseball player, uh, musician, whatever it is. Think about think about the people that you admire, and then think about this: the people that we admire stand out. They they have accomplished something. They have given their all. They have dedicated themselves to something, so they stand out. But you know what we do? We spend most of our lives trying to fit in. We don't want to stand out. We don't want to be different. We don't want, you know, we don't want the spotlight on us. And and I can understand that. I've been there. I mean, years ago, you know, I, my personality is the kind, I know you ain't going to believe this, but my personality is if it was up to me, I would have just, I would have just faded on into anonymity. I could be happy just not, you know, just I go to church. When I get to church, I get there early so I can get a seat in the back. I'll go, I'll sit, and I'll, you know, slip out during the invitation and not cause any waves, don't need anybody to see me. or no, But I, I can't do that. I, it's like what I, I, I've talked about this when, and I may have mentioned it on here earlier, but uh, when we were in Seattle last year and uh, I was on the street with Barbara, my mother-in-law we uh, everybody else had gone to do something and and we were <clears throat> we were standing there and there's people walking by and we were in we were in downtown seattle and uh i said barbara let's see if we can put a smile on these folks face and so i started talking to people when they come by they'd be just walking down the street and i mean you know hundreds of people walking by and i'm going hey guy man you're looking good over there i like that suit i, <laughs> I almost said hey man i used to have a, a shirt like that yeah, then my daddy got a job, but no, I, I was being nice. But I, a couple had walked by, and I go, man, that's a great looking, you guys are a great looking couple. Y'all are made for each other. And, and uh, just I, I, just for a few minutes, just stood there talking to people as they went by. And the reason I did that is because I want you to be happy. I want you to enjoy life. That's why you know, I'm, I, I took a, a video over to... Uh, the cable place yesterday and I, and I told you I bought the lights and I got the camera and I want to go on cable I'll be on cable channel 11 as soon as we can get it all worked out and uh, I want to be on at 6 in the morning 7 in the morning 8 in the morning and then sometime later during the day and what I want to do is I want to put a, a video on there just a few minutes I don't know how long it'll be of motivation to say hey look you can you can have a great day it's going to be a great day uh, approach the day with a positive attitude it's going to be great it's all gonna work out it's gonna be good and 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 seize the day and enjoy the day and i want to get that joy and i want to pass it on to other people and i don't want to be average i want to help people i want to step out above average and tell you and 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 help us all to realize look we can do something more than we're doing. We can do something better than what we're doing. We can accomplish more. We can do more if we'll just get the mindset that says, I can do it. If you want to change the way you're living, if you want to change what you're, you know, like I said, if you want to change what you're reaping, change what you're sowing. And if you don't like your life, change your thinking. If you change your thinking, it'll change your life. And you can have a positive attitude about stuff. And it's not, you know, it's not a Pollyanna attitude where everything's just all going to work out, you know. I go out in my garden and just think, there are no weeds, there are no weeds, there are no weeds. That's not going to help. They're going to be weeds. You're going to have to work at it. 
But we can have more, we can do more, and we can be more if we'll just have the right attitude. Have the right attitude. Have the right outlook. Have the right outlook on life and the, your income, your intake, your joy will be overflowing. Well, I'm at the house. I got to guess I better get to work here. God bless your neighbor. Have a great day and say amen right there. <laughs>